What's good? This is Jamal. Checking back in for the hog style. Um, okay, so the first day, first half of the day is down for the second day of training camp. Um, just finished their walkthroughs about an hour ago, hour or so ago. Um, so uh, just, just a brief snippet just to drop in some interviews for you, let you know what's going on. Um, practice again starts at 3 o'clock. Uh, we're looking to have a few more interviews, hopefully get some analysts on, you know, to, to, to break down what they felt uh, training camp was looking like so far, who they got their eye on. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes later down the road. Um, we'll figure it out by the end of the day. So Josh Norman just got done, shoot, about 30, 35 minutes ago uh, on the podium. I'm going to first uh, go ahead and play that for you. Um, you get the full interview, including <laughs> the noise that was made on social media in, in terms of the, you know, the the Odell comment. Of course, uh, it's kind of hard for everybody just to let it go. Um, so, you know, of course he, you know, he had something to say about it. Um, we'll go ahead and play that right quick. Um, it's about nine minutes. Um, so obviously you can skip through it or play the whole thing if you want to hear what he has to say. He spoke on a wide range of topics, including last year and improving on last year. Um, you know, size size matchups in terms of receivers. Um, obviously, Odell, um, his new DB coach, Torian Gray, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and play that for you, and I will be back after that. Second year here for, uh, with this, this team, I know you guys have changed on the defense, but what are you shooting for for yourself on um, growth players and Standard. You know, that's what we bring. You know, that 
intensity of that fire that you just can't coach when you have it in the dark. When you step on the field, that's what you're on the brain. Do you feel the penalties would run fairly more against you than anybody else while you were there? You know, well, it is what it is. It's part of the game. You know, it was getting shot at at that time. Things happen. It happens. <laughs> you know, um, I can't go do anything about it now. I'm going to do things for the future and I hope it don't happen. But if it does, still, you know, can cry over it. Just have to continue to play your game, get aggressive because that's guys know, man. It's physicality and that's what you bring. And whatever the case may be. So that's what veteran stuff you think that's all the past. He's been in the past until you brought it up. <laughs> so you don't you sure they won't come back up again? I don't know. You don't want to ask that question. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's in the past, what's in the future. It's just Brings the question up. Josh, you mentioned the variety of receivers that are placing them in practice. As a, as a DB, is it, what are the challenges of becoming a small guy versus a tall guy, and what's, which one is harder to cover? Well, we, tall guys, we just said, we just use them for the ball, just on the ball. Short guys are cool. They move in spaces where you got to touch them, you got to reach out. You know, certain things they do. It's more so they're trying to set you up. Whereas big guys, they just try to bully you. That's my game. I enjoy that. I'm sure guys, they, you know, they crafty. So you gotta get crafty with them. You gotta use your tools. You gotta use your tools. Good guys. So, it's gonna be just a cat mouse game. Um, Josh, you're known as um, having kind of an exceptional ability to anticipate where a quarterback's going. Um, can you tell us how much of that is, is an eye skill at the moment? How much is film study? How much of that is a gift? How much of that is learned? Um, what are the elements that go into that, that quality, that ability? Well, I think it's all God gifted. Um, it's just enhancing the tools that you have. And when you're able to see things, um, memorizing them, and then actually acting upon what you memorize. I think that's the biggest thing because you see it, okay, all right, I see it, but next play, I'm not going to really, you know, take what I saw and actually put it on the field, you know? But then you see it again and you actually go, okay, all right, I saw it play before. So I get out on the field and it comes to me again around the third quarter, I know it's coming. So I anticipate it so fast because I've seen it before the first quarter. They come back and do it, do it again because Offenses, they repeat themselves so much, and then you find a beat because you watch the film study you're in the week, and then certain situations tell me what is going to come, I trigger it. I don't even think about it. So, um, like I said, it's got to get and it's enhancing over time, and being in the system to where you, you develop those things. Um, you start moving routes and combinations. And that's, that's what you mean. Um, from your standpoint, how big an adjustment is it from Joe Barry slash Jared Jewell defense last year to Manusky slash Corey Gray this year? It's pretty cool to <laughs> see both sides of the spectrum. I think, you know, um, I always saw that one time when I was at Carolina, then coming here, you know, we got defense coordinator Joe Barry, and then now Manusky. The thing is, he still is in the same coaching staff last year, he just moved up to another position. And they are similar but two way different type of schemes. And I like this scheme. I enjoy this scheme. This is what we do. And this is our backyard. Um, the one before, I'm not saying it wasn't. I enjoyed that one too. The coach Joe Brown has some great things that I, I really did, you know, like him. And I want to play it to the best of my abilities. This one right here, like I said, this feels like I see my backyard. Of all my two having on this way. Good morning here. Josh, you, talk, you talked about the mini camp and OTAs about working more off the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. How's that transition on? I mean, it's very, um, I enjoy it, like I said. Um, just go right into my toolbox for what we like to do. This is definitely going to be a uh, fun year for me. Just go back to this um, answer to our question uh, earlier about you know, that route recognition and timing, how you see things and you act upon them. And I said to you, fast and even off, as you say, I see things a lot more than I feel because 
come back some things. That's all great. Hey Josh, um, I was talking to Freddie Armstrong and Josh Hardy Clemens yesterday. So he says every time he hears the name Josh, he just kind of like getting confused. So are you guys going to kind of come up with nicknames for all the Joshes on this team during training camp? <laughs> well, I'm Jacob, so I think you sneak. Uh, I told him during writing down first day. Uh, so that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, because we had like five Joshes on the Come on. <laughs> and Josh looked up, this one Josh turned, put Josh Evans and looked up, uh, another Josh. Just get you guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they, they got a couple of names. You know. uh, J.O.E. got a name as well. So, uh, Josh is just a lot of Josh. So I've never been on the team with this many Josh. So, you got an offensive Josh, so many defensive Josh, and you got a special team Josh. So, everybody is joshing up. This is so, 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 so many Josh here. <laughs> <laughs> all right and that was josh um overall I, I don't have much to say obviously um in terms of you know how, how he was looking the first day it was it was pretty pretty pedestrian not in a bad way just uh, no noise made um good or bad um nobody really made a play on him um he didn't you know he didn't stand out per se um but we all know what the type of type caliber uh player josh norman is um, so, uh, my eyes will be on him today, though, in terms of, I'm looking at the, the secondary and the, the, the receiving court today, so I'll pay close attention to, you know, how he's playing and also how, uh, the receivers are looking today, so I'll have my eyes on Josh Doxson, uh, Terrell Pryor, uh, Robert Davis, the rookie, um, a little bit more than I did, uh, yesterday, um, so, in terms of receivers, uh, I got a little, I got a little interview with Maurice Harris, um, and I will end. I will end this little this little blurb. <laughs> I guess you can call it a blurb. I will end the, uh, this one with uh, Maurice Harris, and I will check back in with you guys later this evening. It is the 28th of July, second day of training camp. Uh, catch y'all later. Peace. Hey Maurice, uh, heading to your second year. Uh, how is the difference between your rookie year and then obviously your second year? Um, you know, I'm feeling a little more comfortable, um, a little more acclimated to the playbook uh, on the field. You know, it's just just more experience, which is, uh, you know, just a lot, lot more room to improve and stuff. You know, I got better in the offseason, so I've just been trying to continue on that path. Got you, got you. Well, personally, last year I, I considered you a third down specialist, man. You was pretty good on third down, obviously, and uh, Cousins looked to you a lot, um, in my opinion, on third down. But uh, in terms of this year and, and growth, mm -hmm. uh, what are the things that you were working on personally as a receiver, and what have you been doing to you know address, address those issues? Yeah, um, so, I mean, just from last year to this year, just kind of been working on um, – you know, improving the details, uh, little stuff is, I mean, just like getting in and out of breaks, um, playing faster, you know, being more consistent. So I've been trying to do that in practice and, you know, every every chance that I get to work on that stuff, um, you know, situational stuff. Um, so that's that's just been the little stuff that I've been working on. Okay. In terms of uh, the, the depth at receiver now, I'm pretty sure I think you guys have like nine receivers at the, uh, uh, with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, how has the competition been um, and how have you been handling the competition? Oh, the competition is great, man. Every day, you know, we, we're getting better. Everybody's competing. Everybody's playing hard. So um, I, I feel personally I've been handling it pretty good. You know, I can, I'm, I'm just trying to do my job, you know, and play the best that I can. I can't really worry about what other, you know, other receivers and what other guys are doing. Um, but you know, I just try to I just try to do the best that I can. You know, what's best for me and whatever I can do to help the team. Okay, who uh, who do you consider the I guess in terms of well, it's only been day one, yeah. uh, one day of practice. Uh, but who is who is the person that you, you I guess enjoy lining up against? Um, I mean, all the guys you know have have great competition. Um, I personally like going against uh, Dunbar. Okay. You know, he's a he's a taller guy, taller receiver. You know, likes to get hands on. So um, that's that's good practice for you know. The season and stuff, you know, you get a lot of DBs now that are 6'2", 6'3", um, that are tall to like to try to get hands on you. So working against Dunbar, he gives a, a great look at that, and he's pretty good at using his hands. So I'll just have to work on um, going against guys like that. All right, man. Maurice, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Best of luck to you this year. Thank you. Appreciate it.